Good afternoon all. My name is Mukta Asani and I'm a postdoc at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Today I'll be presenting my work on alternative splicing as one of the key resistance mechanisms in CAR therapy in pediatric leukemia. The first half of the talk will describe the B cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia, CAR T cell immunotherapy, and its resistance as one of the mechanism being alternative splicing. The rest of the talk will describe the alternative splicing of two important targets, CD19 and CD22, and how we utilize nanopore sequencing to characterize these alternative splice variants. BLL is the most common malignancy in pediatric, comprising approximately 30% of all cancer in this population. The recent immunotherapy called CAR therapy has shown a great promise in patients with refractory and relapsed disease as an alternative approach to cytotoxic chemotherapy. In this, the donor T cells are, are extracted from the patients and then are transduced with a virus containing chimeric antigen receptors, which are then expanded and reinfused back into the patients. These genetically modified T cells are engineered to express chimeric antigen receptor on the surface, which target a specific extracellular epitope of the surface protein, such as CD19, on B cells. This CD19 directed CAR therapy has revolutionized this B cell. BLL treatment strategy. In fact, in 2014, it was designated as breakthrough therapy by FDA. However, despite these impressive rates of initial complete responses in CD19 CAR therapy, long term follow up studies have shown that significant portions of the patients do relapse and often do not respond robustly to the same immunotherapeutics upon reinfusion. For example, in Ileana trial, the rate of relapse free survival has significantly dropped from 80% at six months to 59% at 12 months. In fact, moreover, several studies on resistance to CAR-19 have continued to emerge from clinical trials, placing patient relapses into both CD19 positive as well as CD19 negative relapses, with majority of them being under CD19 category. Our lab has shown that the CD19 negativity is because of the loss of antigen on the surface which will lead to CAR-19 resistance. With whole exome sequencing and RNA sequencing, our lab, as well as several other studies, have shown that genetic alterations in CD19, for example, here, one nucleotide insertion in exon 2, uh, is, is likely the result of resistance in relapsed leukemia. However, despite this prevalence loss of, funct of functional mutations in CD19, there is also experimental evidence that mutations alone do not account for uh, complete negativity. As you can see, these uh, mutations accounted for no more than 50% of CD19 alleles, yet still led to complete loss of surface CD19 on the, on the surface by flow cytometry. This suggests that additional gene mechanisms for resistance are at play. Here I'll present that uh, besides mutational mechanisms such as nonsense, frame shift, and missense mutations, which can lead to truncation of the protein, or intracellular retention of the protein, malignant B cell also utilizes non-mutational mechanism such as alternative splicing as a, to achieve CD19 negative phenotype. Alternative uh, splicing is actually a very regulated process during gene expression, which contributes greatly to the expanding diversity and function of the proteome. Illustration of different types of alternative splicing, such as exon skipping, mutually exclusive exons, intro and retention is shown here. We utilize magic algorithm developed by Yosha Baras lab at Penn to identify different patterns of alternative splicing. Magic offers an ability to visualize, detect, and quantitate different alternative splicing variation, including the de novo variation. We utilize this magic algorithm to investigate RNA sequencing data and investigate mRNA splicing of CD19 gene. Upon using this, we, we, uh, we saw that the skipping of exon 2 is primarily responsible, is, or is, is primarily found in relapsed leukemias. This exon 2 actually harbors a binding epitope for CAR and have increased significantly in post-relapse samples such as CHOP101R, as shown here in the red event, when compared to its match screening sample CHOP11 here. Further reevaluating the extent of alternate splicing, we also identified the, the prevalent of intron 2 retention in CHOP 101R in, compared to CHOP 101. However, this isoforms, sorry, so the intron retention, is, as you can see here, is increased in CHOP 101R in comparison to CHOP 101 in using this BAM files. However, these isoforms are actually identified using traditional RNA seq method. 
In order to investigate whether this isoform actually exists in context of full length transcripts or whether they are an artifact of RT PCR, we employed long read nanopore sequencing to characterize the splice variants. To, identify, to determine the complex exon structure of CD19, we used Minion device and did the transcriptome analysis on various cell lines as well as patient derived xenografts and used both direct RNA and cDNA sequencing kit. This slide shows here the CD19 gene profile from both cDNA and RNA run of long range nanopore sequencing, with the highlighted region showing here of exon 2 of CD19. Further zooming in on only full length transcript, we see both skipping of exon 2 shown here with the red, exon, uh, red arrows, as well as intron 2 retention shown here with the green arrows, as an alternative splicing events of CD19. Our lab has found that skipping of exon 2 will lead to an truncation of the, or will lead to a retention of the protein in the intracellular, and the intron 2 retention will lead to premature stop codon, thereby resulting into truncation of the protein. This further studies on this isoform is very helpful as it will improve the diagnosis, prognosis, as well as treatment strategies in CD19 negative relapses. However, in clinically, uh, CD9, instead of CD, in CARs directed against CD19, there are CARs directed against CD22 as well. CD22 is also a surface protein on the B cells and found to be very important in B cell development and homeostasis. CD22 directed CAR therapy has primarily followed CD19 CAR therapy in patients with those of CD19 negative relapses. However, several studies have found that various uh, have, have found that relapses do occur with this treatment as well. And instead of mutations, actually low surface density is primarily responsible for resistance against CAR22 therapy. In clinically, two CARs, H22 and M971, have been designed against two different regions of extracellular domain of CD22 encoded by exon 5, 6, and exon 8. Using magic analysis, we showed that exon 5 and 6 both are alternative splice, thereby resulting into the epitope loss, presumably likely, killing, uh, likely escaping the killing from CAR22. Upon further analysis, using nanopore sequencing, we saw that the the alternate splicing of CD23 is pretty complex, as we see not only the skipping of exon 5 and 6, but also various uh, N-terminal exons such as delta 2, delta 2 to 6, as well as truncation of protein because of the intron 4 polyrelation. Thus, I would have successfully convinced you all that alternative splicing of target surface antigen such as CD19 and CD22 generates many, but not all, functional protein which may impart resistance to immunotherapy, specifically CAR T cells. With that, I would like to thank my mentor, Andre Thomas Tikonenko, as well as my, all my lab members, collaborators at Penn, and also funding support. Thank you.